Colorado lawmakers back to work tomorrow and child safety is top of mind for some after a call seven investigation revealed Denver Human Services didn't do hundreds of proper background and fingerprint checks. It was the reports of call seven investigator John Frusia that led to a statewide audit that found serious flaws in keeping kids safe. John. That's right, Ann, and now that means an effort for new legislation to make sure county agencies are conducting proper checks using current data, making sure kids are not at risk. The state audit found that in the 43 cases sampled in Denver, only 53% of the total elements required for proper background checks were completed, and in other counties, the percentage was even worse. I was shocked. I, I was absolutely shocked. State Senator Linda Newell. As you found out and the department found out, it th what is required is not happening. She says she couldn't believe how many children potentially have been at risk. And she will now sponsor a bill. To make sure that they are doing their local as well as uh, the uh, FBI background check and also matching it with names and addresses in the uh, sex offender registry. She says matching addresses, which CDHS is now recommending statewide following our investigation, is essential because while the primary caregiver may be fine, it is others in the house who may be a threat. It's making sure anybody who is in that home has that background check. Newell's also considering a provision in this proposed bill to sanction counties that didn't follow the rules and that could include withholding some state funds until those counties become compliant. In the newsroom, I'm John Ferrugia, 7 News.